Okay, so what I have here is some sample data from a form where I'm asking for student identifiers. I just want their name and what their project name is or what it is that they're doing that is going to be peer evaluated. So then I want to go ahead and create a column called evaluation. And so I'm going to put the evaluation link. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that. And what that is is the pre-filled URL from the peer evaluation form. So that's a different form. You'll notice when I double click on it that it's kind of ugly looking. Um, it's got a lot of different things in it. But what I'm looking for is I need to turn this all into a text field. So I need to first start it with an equal sign and with a quotation mark at the beginning and a quotation mark at the end. A quotation mark at the beginning and at the end. And what that does is that turns that whole URL into a text field. And then what I want to do is I want to combine this text field with the pieces of data from the form that the student filled out. So I look through here and I notice where I have last samples. This is where I want the last name to go. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to replace it with um, the last name from the student, which in this case is more over there in D2. So I'm going to do a quotation to end the text. Ampersand, so I want to join that text with what's in D2. So I'm going to put the last name there. So I'm joining the first piece of text with um, cell referencing from the spreadsheet. And then I need to do another ampersand. And then I need a quotation. So it's quotation, ampersand, ampersand, quotation, so that I can join spreadsheet data with text data. So that gives me the last name, and then here where it says the first name, I'm again going to need quotation, ampersand, ampersand, quotation, where in between the ampersands goes the first name. So it is quotation, ampersand, C2, where first name is, ampersand, quotation, put it back to being a text field. Um, the other thing that I have in here, it says Team Snickerdoodle. So I want to go ahead and highlight that. I'm going to replace the team sticker node with quotation, ampersand, E2, ampersand, quotation. So again, that's quotation, ampersand, ampersand, quotation with the actual cell in the middle. And then I also have in here, um, should have the, yes, I have the student ID number. Now, I had written a sample student ID number. I probably would have been better off putting some help text for myself. But uh, I want to replace this sample 1234 with the uh, ID number of the student. So it's quotation, ampersand, ID numbers in B2, ampersand, quotation. And so when I push enter, what you'll notice is that that did not make a hyperlink. And the reason for that is that there are space bars in where it says the country of Italy. A hyperlink can't have space bars. Um, the space bar code in HTML is percent %20. So what I do is I do Command F. I'm on a Mac, so I do Command F. You do Control F on a PC. And then you got to click these little dot, dot, dots. And I replace, I find space bar, so I hit the space bar, and replace it with percent %20. And I go ahead and I replace all. Replace all, done. So now you'll notice my link is now an actual hyperlink. Um, let me open up this a little bit wider. So you see it says the country of Italy, but all my space bars are now using the HTML code of percent %20. So you just want to, um, if you do a command F, it replaces all the space bars with percent %20 and then it, it works fine. So then what I can do is I can just go ahead and grab the corner and pull down for the for the formula. So as students fill out the form and they go down, all I have to do is copy and paste the formula. That's where you click on the cell and then you find the corner and you pull down for an autofill. Clear those off. So if I were to go to the form, view the live form, and I fill this out, let's say my ID number is that, and my name is Ellis and Keeler, and this is team spreadsheet. So I fill out my project, close that out, and go, I have a lot of tabs open. So you'll now see that since I've submitted this, 
it's added to the spreadsheet, but I don't have a hyperlink evaluation. So I just need to click on the cell above it that has the, the hyperlink, and then get in the corner, and I just fill down. And now you'll notice that my hyperlink doesn't work. My link to my evaluation does not work. So then what I need to do is Command-F, click on the three dots, refine the space bar, replace it with percent %20. Oops, let's try doing that. Replace all space bar with percent %20. Replace all, and then I hit done. Now you'll notice all my space bars are now percent twenties, and my hyperlink works. Um, and so when you click on this, if I click on this hyperlink, it's going to open the peer evaluation form, but it already has pre-slugged in the name of the student being evaluated and my and the student's ID number and the project title and that way all of the submissions that are peer evaluated have the student's name written correctly, the student ID number is correct, and all the team names are written the same way. So that's super handy. Um, this looks a little wonky, this evaluation link. I'm going to go ahead and actually just make it a lot shorter. And I'm going to do click here to evaluate. And so I'm going to do equals hyperlink is going to be my um, formula, parenthesis, and the hyperlink is in F2, comma, and then I'm going to do in quotations, click here to evaluate, and I'm going to end quotations because the quotations give me um, text, but I want to ampersand, I want to join that together with John, so it's what's in C2, ampersand, quotation, spacebar, quotation, ampersand. So I want to get first name, spacebar, last name, so I'm going to have to do ampersand, quotation, spacebar, quotation to get the text of the spacebar, and I want to join it with the last name, which is in D2. And then I can go ahead and end the parenthesis. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then you'll notice that uh, it now has text there instead of just a really wonky looking uh, URL. And I can pull that down. So now as you send students to this spreadsheet, and if you want to, you can, I guess there's, you don't want to show them all the ID numbers or whatever. You can actually just hide those columns. Or you could hide all of these columns if you wanted to. And it's just click here to evaluate. And so then everyone would just go to the spreadsheet and like, oh, I need to evaluate Mary's project. So they just click there and they fill out the rubric uh, to evalu peer evaluate Mary's project, submit it, and then they can go on and evaluate um, other students just straight from the spreadsheet, which I think is pretty handy.